Hey, I'm Tammy Cornett. Welcome to iPhone Chef. Tonight we're making some pita breads. Now, what you need is a little bit of yeast, and I use a little bit of durum wheat to help out my breads. They always seem to rise real, real well. I've got a teaspoon of sugar and a teaspoon and a half of salt. Now, I've already put my yeast in here. I gave it 10 minutes with a half a cup of warm water to make sure that it was going to rise okay. I've put three cups of flour in here, and the last thing I did was put my salt in there. And you want to put your salt in last so that it doesn't affect the yeast rising. I've let this mix for about 10 minutes, and it's uh, turned into a real nice ball here. I'm going to pull this off the dough hook. And now I'm going to take this big dough ball out. Oh, and that's just really, really nice. I'm going to put it in a bowl, and I'm going to put just a little bit of oil on it. I like to use olive oil. And you want to toss it to where the whole thing is covered in oil. And now you're going to take a clean towel, put it over top of it, and let it sit for about two hours in a real warm place. I like either the top of my dryer when I'm drying clothes or the top of the refrigerator. And you just want to leave it there. After about two hours, when you uncover it, it's going to look like this. It should have doubled in size. If for some reason it doesn't, then either your yeast is old or maybe your yeast was cold. You always want all of your ingredients room temperature when you're making any type of bread. Now what you're going to do next is you're going to punch it down. This is great if you've had a bad day at work. It gives you a good thing to punch. You're going to pull it around. And then what you want to do is divide it into 10 or 12 little balls. And you want to put them on a floured surface. I like to use my cutting board. And you're going to let them sit for 10 minutes and rise just a little bit. Once they've risen, you want to use a floured surface. And you're going to roll them out. And now you can roll them out real thin, and they puff up real nice. This one I'm going to roll not quite as much. I'm going to throw it in the oven. And now here's one that I put in just a few minutes ago. Woo, and it's a little bit hot. And so I usually like to do five or six and get them in the oven. You just want to cook them for about four minutes at a, on a 500 degree oven. Make sure you put your, make sure that you put your, um, whatever you're cooking them on. I use a cookie sheet in the oven to preheat as well. Then you just want to flip them for two minutes. Keep a close eye on them. They don't need any longer than that. I've got a little homemade hummus here, and I'm gonna try one of these and see how it is. We're gonna use these with a little lamb and a little tzatziki tonight. Mmm, there is nothing like homemade bread. Pita bread, buttermilk bread, anything. I'm Tammy Cornett. I'm the iPhone chef, and I'm Kentucky Proud.